while we all know that design is the priority while we are designing or creating anything around us but when it comes to tangible products like furniture automobile or any daily use products it is material selection that also plays a major role material selection can make or break a product the criteria applies in fashion industry as well there has to be a right selection of fabric for a garment to drape properly whenever a question on designing a product is asked in the exam or whenever a student submit us their work we have observed that there is a lot of confusion in this part please understand that when it comes to designing a tangible product it is not necessary to use everything best available in the world and make it an ideal product there are various parameters that come into play which one needs to keep in mind while attempting such questions these are very basic topics but very useful i'm sure most of you already know about them but we have tried to jot down all in a very logical sequence so let's quickly get started So the first parameter that we should understand is the nature of use. So while designing a product, ask yourself how a user is going to use this product. I mean, does the product require use of electricity or heat or is it going to be used in some other extraordinary conditions? Because this can change the material that should be used in each case. I'm sure you must have observed the insulating material on the utensil to pick it up or use of plastics in electrical appliances. Once we know the use, next we need to know the weight and strength needed for the product. This not only depends on the nature but also the degree of interaction with the user. If you are designing a product which a user need to shift around frequently, of course in that case the material should be lightweight and vice versa. A dining table and a laptop table can be both considered as a part of furniture design, but we use different material based on the interaction with the user. Isn't it? The next and the most important feature is the cost. Material will determine the cost of the product. Once you know how and who will use the product, you will know how costly the product should be. It is for the same reason the construction boots are made of rubber even though they can be made of a carbon fiber as well. Now, there can be many more parameters for example sustainability, robustness that is ability to stand the extreme conditions or performance requirements that is condition that limit the performance of a material etc but that depends on the product to product also from the point of view of the exam these three basic parameters that we discussed are sufficient enough to help you design an efficient product within the stipulated time available in the exam so now let's discuss few sectors where material selection play a major role we will look at the parameters that determine that and also i will try to list down few materials that you should know if you are attempting question on this topic so we will be talking only from the exam point of view based on the analysis of what type of questions are asked in the exam and these are not universal requirement or parameters all right so first is transport in case of question based on transport the material should be durable lightweight manufacturing cost should be low it should be economical for the user and it should last long before any wear or tear happen i think this makes sense this can include aluminium plastic or steel now carbon fiber in this case can be debatable i'm i mean we'll have to consider it on case to case basis next is footwear this is not that difficult to think of the product should have user comfort durability it should be cost effective and in certain cases we'll have to consider it to be waterproof and washproof as well this can include materials like synthetic leather or we also call it pu leather textile synthetic rubber or foam next appliances they should be of lightweight properly insulated so the material should be heat or electric resistant and generally they are made of using polymers and plastics So that's it. I hope you observed how basic these topics were. Please remember to keep things simple whenever you are attempting such questions. Do not use material for just for the sake of showcasing your knowledge because that can create negative impact. In our study links we have given links to the material that you should study for seed. Please go through that link as well. So this was all about basics related to material on designing a product. We'll meet again with new video. Until then, keep preparing and keep enjoying.